Hi, welcome back. What's this? A new Lego Friends shopping mall. What? This is number three. <laughs> You know what? You can never have enough shopping malls. And this has actually been renovated, updated for the new generation, I think. That's what's happening. We've also got such a great lineup of characters for this. So many great skin tones, different, oh, so, yeah, so much awesomeness. We'll have a look at them individually as we go along. But let's have a look at the logistics of the set. We have got 1,237 pieces in here. It's $200 here in Australia, $120 in the US. And I need to remember to thank Lego so much for sending this set to me to build on the channel with you guys it's just so 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 many levels of awesome okay so how many bags we got in here oh canoe why is there a canoe in in a mall set i suppose you can buy stuff at a mall but still random thing to be the first thing to notice <laughs> when you're opening up the box okay beautiful stickers look at those colors oh my goodness layla right okay so let's have a look at the characters my favorite man actually it's all my favorite bit so we've got leanne she's wearing the green jeans that she was wearing in the pop star music tour bus but her top is brand new print she's got some patches on the back which are like which is just like totally Leanne love the color scheme here with the green and white stripes and the coral coral arms was just seeing so much coral and it just definitely grown on me yeah so we've got yeah Leanne very distinctively Leanne oh the lime green in her top actually matches her jeans very nicely she's got an accessory I'm gonna actually get all of the mini dolls out of the bags and have a look at them at the beginning and grab out their accessories that they come with too just so just so we can have a look at them all at the beginning and then I'll reintroduce each of them as we open up each bag or in the respective bags that they were supposed to come in but yeah Leanne comes in bag number one she's holding a drink a very nice little drink build now these we've seen these pants mold before but I love them with the red like the red cropped jeans or folded up jeans and the white socks that are going up <laughs> <laughs> like ankle socks, blue sneakers. This is Aaliyah. She's got on a brand new print top too with uh, with green and yellow checks. I really like this. I really like it for her. The whole outfit is entirely different to what we've seen her in in the past year. So yeah, cool. It's really very <laughs> the socks are just getting me. I just love them. I love that. My generation like used to do everything we could to hide our socks and now ankle socks are 100% back in fashion. <laughs> oh my goodness. But okay, this is a brand new character with a prosthetic leg. So his purple, oh my, yeah, so his, his purple leg there is prosthetic one, but he's also got a brand new shorts mold. This is cool because the shorts that we've had since the beginning, like the inception of Lego Friends, Mm, it's definitely time for them to be updated so this is cool he also does not have the creepy ear feet so there's lots of good things happening here oh my goodness I just I hadn't even cognated the pants because I was I was so excited by his prosthetic leg okay he has got oh he's got a necklace around his neck which is which is like the half of a heart so I wonder who has the other half of that heart necklace are we gonna even see them in this oh my gosh oh oh my gosh all right sorry so many exciting things happening here all right so yes he's got a little white button-up shirt he's got the same skin tone as Leanne the medium tan is it medium tan we're seeing lots and lots of characters with his skin tone now which is great because we're able to mix and match different body parts to make up new outfits and stuff really exciting he's got a brand new face print as well with a little quirky up smile I really like his face print and he's got the swoofy boy band hair that we saw with the release of the BTS sets so I'm just loving that we're seeing these everywhere he also has got a crossbody bag which matches well is a darker shade to his leg so it, I mean the whole coordination here just turns this outfit into a fit yeah Okay, all right. So we've got Petch. We've also got uh, Nova included in this set as well. She's wearing an outfit that we've seen uh, quite a few times now. Still got the creepy ear feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep checking for this, but I love the fact that the new shorts mold doesn't have creepy ear feet. So maybe they're on the way out. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> okay, she's also holding the phone with the same, playing the same game that she was last year. Oh my gosh, that's so 2023. Maybe, but she's still addicted to it, obviously. But we do have another brand new character. So this character's name is Irene. She has got little, well, quite long socks with uh, Mary Jane shoes, got a purple skirt. Just love the socks print. And I love how high up the socks are. It's so cute. And when you put the top on, this kind of turns into, I think it's a dress, like a purple dress. Got a little heart cut out on the white bit at the top. Got little tiny white sleeves, a lime green crossover ribbony belt kind of thing. So, and a brooch. Is it a brooch on one side? 
I just love it all. It's entirely really, really interesting and eclectic. And her face print is something we haven't seen before. Well, there's something on there we haven't seen before. If you can see the little shiny bit around her nose, she's got a nose ring. Purple eyeliner, oh, purple eyeshadow, purple lipstick. And she has got some seriously funky hair. So she's got the little blue top knots and dark, dark blue hair. So I feel as though she's kind of like an e-girl. I am I I don't know. Everybody puts labels on everybody these days. It's probably best not to have labels. So you can just be whatever you want to be. So yeah, cool. Such a great new character, Irene. Okay, all right. We've also got a grown up. We've got, she's got the three quarter length skirt in beige. Well, in the tan color. Oh my gosh. And gray shoes. Wow, just neutrals. It's all about neutrals for this lady. I always complain that we don't have enough clothes in neutrals for the mini dolls, but they're really, really, they're really bland. Her top takes, yeah, her top helps though. So she's got a little purple cardigan with a kind of very 70s kind of style with a, what do we call it? An orangey brown shirt underneath with little spots on it. High waisted though with a belt. Love it. And I love her face print so much. So she has got corally lips. Just a, it's a different shape face print shape. She's also got little extra lines for folds on her eyes just to make... I, I, I suspect she's supposed to be an Asian character. We've got quite a few Asian characters in this in this set, which I just love. She's got a different skin tone to the others, though, which I, I love that, too, because different people come in different skin tones, within different races, within different all of the things. So we're all different. Anyway, so <laughs> the, the, her name was, I've forgotten, Michelle. And I think she's actually Victoria's mum, who's this little dude here. So Victoria we've met before, but in this case, she's got a brand new dress, orange dress, so cute, brand new face print with a little quirky smile up to the side. She looks like just the embodiment of mischief. She looks like she's trouble incarnate. But yeah, so we've got we've got Victoria, we've got her mum Michelle. I'm gonna go with uh, maybe her being. I'm making up stories here, but maybe Michelle is Leanne's aunt, maybe, and maybe Petch is her cousin, and Victoria is is her cousin. So yeah, maybe maybe Petch and Michelle and Victoria are a family. I don't know. Making stuff up though. It may become clear as we see the episodes for the Lego Friends. But anyway, first bag, we had Aaliyah and we had Leanne. So let's start building this, oh my gosh, this mall. Now, I need to just pause for breath a little bit, but this mall actually has a very similar shape to the second mall that we got. So I always, I feel as though they've taken the original, like the designers have taken the second mall and have updated it for the new generation because it's been quite a few years on so that would make perfect sense this is a little ice cream stall this is actually not part of the mall it's a subsidiary build <laughs> but i just love it because you can put it wherever you want or you can pop the parts off it and put them wherever you want them to be on the mall but we do have a fantastic big plant in a pot build with this little green flowery bit it's new in this color so cool which just makes this Makes it this fantastic topiary, topiaryized. It's a topiary, so a you know a cut plant, so that it's cut into a shape. In this case, into a ball. So it makes it on this like nice big stem and toperied branches. There we go. I think I got that into some sort of improper English. So we poke these all the way around, and look how nice that is. That's so nice. So that just kind of greens up the little ice cream stall. And we've got some extra pieces here. So you don't have to take the pink and the blue, no, the pink and the yellow blue, what? <laughs> Off the actual ice cream scoop section. You can use your spares if you want to put them on the ice cream cones too. Love it. It's so simple, but the play elements are awesome. Right, bag number two. And this is the one that Petch comes in. Petch doesn't have an accessory. Well, he does. He has the crossbody bag. So yeah, that's an accessory. What was? What am I on about? I don't know. Time to get started with the mall. So first sticker off our sticker sheet is a map of the mall. Three levels. Holy moly. All going up incrementally in size, like biggest on the bottom and then getting a little bit smaller each time up. Nice. Got a nice big poster for karaoke, which is an entirely separate set. I don't think there's any karaoke actually involved here at the mall, but we can always add the karaoke set to it and expand the mall. <laughs> so many things we can do. Uh, we got a big br brown is the is the accent color in this set, which is unexpected. I don't know whether it's going to quite work, but we'll have a look at it when we get to the end. You can't tell when you're in the middle of building it. So this is interesting. This is a, not a fire hydrant like I kind of thought it was. We've got a pink hat on it. So it's a stand. Pink hat, we've got a helmet, got a, I suppose the green tennis ball -y thing on the top or a ball on the top and we've got a camera. 
and some oh the hooks for a couple couple of life vests nice let's try this pink hat on Petch look at that now you're beautiful look how good that is he can also hold the camera beautiful all right I don't I assume this is like kind of a sports store because we've got some sports equipment in it nice big double door uh, also in that same shade of brown is it medium nougat I can't I can never keep straight all of the shade thing is it's brown it's a shade of brown it's a nougat one uh, more big windows going across here so yeah that is the accent color so odd <laughs> okay on the inside we've got a sand blue checkout section in the drawer we've got some gobble bubble bum gobble gobble bub go go my goodness gobble bubble gum i don't even know that was right now but we've also got our little so uh, this is the checkout oh i got distracted with the bubble gum <laughs> but we've got now a you know like a card reader as the checkouts which is so good because i have so many cash registers from all the shops <laughs> <laughs> I've collected over the years. I have a whole whole box full of cash registers and nobody really uses them anymore. It's always it's always cashless. Yeah. Well, it's often cashless, but I love the fact that we have that option. It also takes up it, it just takes up a little bit less real estate. There were binoculars there on the table too, which I got distracted by with all my cash register rambling. Over here we have got a sticker with oh, Things that feel like a hint for maybe we're going to have a camping, like a forest woodland camping kind of sub theme for the middle of the year or in the future. Or maybe it's just like a camping store shop. <laughs> I'm just reading too much into it. This here is a bathroom. I can get that nice and clearly. We've got some water dripped on the floor. We've got our sink. We've got a little hand dispensary thing in there. Nice big grey. What am I saying? Nice grey. Oh. So grey gray going across the top to hold everything together. And this is a display within the store with one of those, yeah, like a little burner uh, and a flask drink thingy me bobbly job job. Okay, so they go over here on the... <laughs> Just, just ignore the fact that it's burning away merrily in the corner of the store, shall we? Got a, whoa, a very, very bright uh, snowboard in the corner. And this is, oh, this is that new color, that burnt orangey color, that mid-orangey red color for the paddle, for a paddle for a surfboard uh, as a display out the front. Okay, this is what we have at the end of this bag. We've got a nice spare crossbody bag we've got bag number three to keep on going another brown door with no well a brown door frame with a purple door got our door handle on the correct way around uh and it has it has a toilet sign on it very nice this goes over here see i knew this was a bathroom i can recognize the bathroom when i'm building it probably only because of the sink i mean what else has sinks in it apart from kitchens and other sink related rooms <laughs> This, this though, this is a toilet. Oh, I love the fact it's got the little handles on the side to make it accessible for, uh, for all, for special needs for everybody. So everybody can use this this toilet. Yay! Lucky because it's the only one here in this in the mall. So yeah, that's very important. Okay, all right. So we've got some little holes in the wall there, which means we're going to be plugging this into uh, yeah into other parts of our build. This has also got holes in it. We're putting some technique pieces in on the front. Interesting. Oh, okay, and there's overhangs all the way around to kind of round it and make it not so square and flat. I like that. That's like, it's just a little bit of extra bricks and a little bit of extra detailing, but it turns it into something really interesting to look at. Got our blue flooring going on for the next level. Nice. And then we get started on the next level. We've got another sticker up here to let us know what we're building. Today's special, oh, $3 for cacti. $2 for whatever that is, $5 for the other things. I, it's a little plant shop. That's adorable. I love that there's a plant shop. Oh, okay. Little brown door. So that's the entryway. We've got, uh, we've got some secateurs in there, just some scissors for general cutting. So yeah, this is the checkout. We've got our little bip bip machine and we've got a watering can all tucked in he over here in the corner. So that's going to be where you can come and check out. It's only a very, very small space, but it is a massive improvement on the space from the previous the previous mall because it had so little space to actually stand in the uh, yeah in the shops. Yeah, so this is so much better. So much better. It's little, but it's still great. Got some really cute little flowers happening over here. And let's just get Irene in just to just to demonstrate. Sorry, 
<laughs> Sorry, Irene. Just to demonstrate that there is room here. Like you could pop a couple of people in here. It's pokey, but it's perfect. It's a really, I think it's a really good compromise on space versus pricing and playability. Really nice. Okay, we've got a couple of clips up here, which means we've got ice cream cones, but they're not ice cream cones in this particular scenario. They are bouquets of flowers and we can clip them in up here it'd be nice to have those ice cream cones in different colors because they're kind of like the wrapping around the bouquet of flowers right rather than i suppose it's just neutral neutral is fine neutral works fine <laughs> okay got our plugs in the wall uh but we're not plugging into anything yet we're still working up here all right some vibrant coral plates going down here we're making definitely making a shape up here we're up to bag number four and this is where we start working on the moving component or one of the moving components because there are actually two escalators in this set one each like to get up to each floor which is amazing because every time i build something everybody always says <laughs> they're always coming saying how do they get up to the next floor and i do say things like they fly because it's make-believe but um but yeah in this case lego has actually made sure that there is a way to get up to each floor of this building and i love it so we are building a moving escalator there was one in the center of the previous mall so i think it's a similar concept to that one let's get it together and then we'll have a look but the internals of this seem to be going together the same way yeah okay we've got all these little gray bits that just clip into each other and those bits in the middle those little uppy bits you can then stick the mini doll's feet between them no stick them between the mini doll feet so if we feed this through and then we put it up and around clip it on fits just perfectly because it's lego hello thank you <laughs> it definitely always fits perfectly and then yeah you can turn it and they can ride up ride up the escalator we'll give it a go once we install it let's finish building it first though got all these forward facing studs which is interesting there's our little knob for turning it and making it go up and down yeah looking good but i'm now thinking that that knob doesn't actually turn it so yeah okay so we need <laughs> we need some more mechanism -y bits to make it to make it easily accessible to turn for the turning bit so we've got our little coily bit in the middle here these bits go over that looks kind of like we're going to be plugging it in with those red things oh no hold on yeah okay now we plug them in here cool all right so that's our turny bit now all right so it wasn't the green thing at all i was delusional the green's quite out there on the front though it's kind of standing <laughs> standing out but let's give it this a go we've got we've got a going up and then she kind of disappears 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 into the ground which is like everybody's nightmare that you're not going to get off the escalator in enough time before it actually gets sucked in into the floor but not like this she'll just pace it yeah she'll keep just she'll just fly off if you keep pushing it that's it or she'll get stuck so it's fine she's fine green floor for the next level which is interesting the previous level was a blue floor ah errors the, the colors in this are confusing to me <laughs> not that i understand colors <laughs> but it's bright it's bright the mall has to be bright right we're up to bag number five this is the one which which nova is in and the canoe we've got well it's kayak it's actually a brand new uh color for this for this kayak yeah a kayak color it's a brand new kayak color as is this paddle i just love it i love that shade of <laughs> orangey red it has a proper name it actually plugs in up here that's so clever. That's such a nice way to one be a display and make it interesting. So how does that go on? There we go. That was I made that a lot harder than it needed to be. So it's a display, but it's also nice and big and out of the way and makes it, yeah, it gives you some decoration to the back. I really like that. This is one of the escalator handles. You know, do you put your hand on the escalator thingy when you're going up and down and it like moves at a slightly different rate to the actual stairs? Is that just an Australia thing or is that just an escalator thing? Because I find that baffling <laughs> every time. You go, why do they not coordinate perfectly? All right. Anyway, we've got some nice foliage here on the front of the brown part of front of the brown part, the front of the escalator. This is cool because this is going to make that green ball look slightly less ostentatious there. It was it was weird just sitting there by itself, right? But now, now it's gorgeous. It's just blended in with the rest of the foliage. I love that there's random foliage on the side. It just softens everything. This is the other handle, the other handle that's also going at a slightly different pace to the stairs, slightly different design too. Okay, let's take this up and install. Oh, man, how did I, it's a little bit I don't know how I managed to capsize that. It's Lego. If I broke it, I could fix it. So that's good. Okay, green 
going around like green trim around the edge. Goodness me, these are colors that I just would never expect to be seeing. That's so nice. Oh my goodness, though, we have got a brand new piece in trans transparent, in clear, in a curve, like a three by three macaroni curve. That's going to be so useful. We don't have, we just don't have enough interesting, well, in my opinion, building elements in transparent, in clear, to be able to do stuff that's functional or rather than to just make it an accent piece. I just love this because I'm always trying to put glass in stuff. Or the appearance of glass. No, it's plastic. <laughs> and we've got brown as the handles along the top. All right. Okay. All right. This is a sign. It's that new little table, well, newish table design in bright light yellow. Yeah, it's got a kayak and little mountains and a cute little kawaii face. Oh, so it's a camping store. It's like Heartlake City's version of Kathmandu. Oh, it's so nice. All right, next level up here. Let's put Irene. She can try out the try out the escalator while we put some alfresco dining up here on the top, which is grassed. I'm going with this green being grassed, like a grass area on the top of the building. I love that idea. I don't know how on earth you would maintain it, but I love the idea. Got a stick in the middle of the table to help hold the tabletop on, which means that I'm not going to be like just randomly flicking the top off anymore. Got a soy sauce bottle in the middle, got chopsticks. Very nice. So we're going to have an Asian style restauranty or eatery kind of thing up here. Got another one of those curved see-through bricks, which just bring my heart so much joy. And we've got another sign for above our little florist shop, I suppose. It's not really a garden. It's not a garden shop. It's definitely a florist shop. So cute little, oh, cute little depiction of, <laughs> of the Lego, Lego green watering can. I love it. Oh, I love their little kawaii faces. They're just adorable. All right, we are leaving this here for the moment. We're up to bag number six. We've still got the rest of this to build. I have to take, you have to stop and have a cup of tea before I continue on, but so much still to see. So make sure you subscribe, click the little notification bell and let me know your thoughts of the build so far. And yeah, the next part will come up soon. So be patient, but keep checking. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.